Ed White will be at the 15th and Cordova checkpoint for us as you take a look at those times at Tudor. And Ed will be giving us a report on what's happening at uh, Cordova as those teams try to make their way up the hill there. As a matter of fact, I understand we can go to Ed now and see if we can't get an update. So, Ed, what can you tell us? Ken, we've got Roxy just crossing over 16th Street right now as we're speaking. She's at the bottom of the hill working her way up this hill. And uh, this is the biggest crowd I've seen in the years that I've been doing this, uh, cheering Roxy on as they're coming up here. I was sitting in that Lutheran church right across the street when Charlie said that they were gliding. But let me tell you, they're just flying coming up this hill. Roxy's off her sled running. The crowd's giving her a standing ovation, as you might expect. Long Nose is just crossing 15th now, and she's headed down the avenue just working as hard as she can. So when we see Ross, we'll get back with you. Well, anticipating the time then from 15th and Cordova, we know that Roxy Wright Champagne is working her way up uh, the hill there. Charlie, before you get away, let me just ask you very quickly, if I may, why is she working so hard if she has the lead, or since she has the lead that she does? You must put 100% of effort into this, no matter what, if you're winning or if you're coming in second or third. That way, if you do have a slight glitch that causes you a slight change in position, at least you feel good about yourself when you're all done. You know you gave it your best. You bet. All right, Charlie Champagne, thank you for joining us in our coverage here as he will now, of course, head down to the finish line where he'll be assisting in the handling of the team as it comes in. But Roxy Wright Champagne, as described by Ed White, working very hard getting up that hill. And, Janet, I guess it's just a good work ethic, really, and that, I'm sure, rubs off on the dogs as well.